everyone. If you are just coming to me for the floss tube, welcome. If you are coming back from the knitting podcast, welcome back. I am Sadie. I am your host. I'm Sadie Ruin on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Blue Ruin on Ravelry. If you're a knitter or crocheter and you want to see me there, I also have a thread in my Ravelry group for cross stitch purposes. And yeah, I think that's all the housekeeping I need to start with. I don't know. Is that all the housekeeping? I have a cat playing on a bag over here. Frank is trying to be sneaky. She's not sneaky. Frankie has never been sneaky a day in her life. Not a day. She's like a little bull in a china shop. Come here, bruiser. Are you just going to stand there and mute me? She does not know what to do. She, that's a classic Frank. Petrie has already been and gone. She came in and say, said hi during the knitting podcast. And yeah, now she's gone. And Bebop is right over here. You can't see him. He's just below the screen. Passed out in a little puppy puddle. As Bebops are wont to do. Right, so I don't have too much to show you this week. It's been, I've been really focusing on uh, knitting a blanket for the hubby. And quite frankly, when I'm sick, I suck at counting and I know that. So while I've been sick, I just really do not want, didn't want to screw anything up. So I didn't do a lot of stitching. Having said that, once I started feeling better, who did the bug come back? The stitching bug. And my Prairie Moon, the red and the black, got some more work. I officially finished off one full skein of 310 so far. And here's what it looks like. That is how far I've gotten. Which is a lot further than the last time you saw it, I believe. I'm doing it on 35 count peep loss sheep linen. It is a 12 by 17 piece. Uh, it's gonna be about that wide and long. Um, I'm actually really liking this linen. It, I really like 35 count, I guess. I guess 35 count is my thing, is my jam. So I think I might try out some 36 count. I've never worked with 36 count, but after having such a positive experience with coverage on the 35, I really think, like, that's great coverage. Here, let me just hold it up for you. Meow, meow. Like, the coverage is insane, which just makes me so happy. My crafter's waypoint needle minder. So, I got that far on that and then I decided, well, I need to stitch on something else because I can't just show you, yeah, needle, get back on there. I can't just show you this, like I can't, well, I could, I really could if I chose to, but I'm also a person who has many works in progress when it comes to knitting, so I have to have many works in progress when it comes to stitching. And I'm also having a moment where it's like, I haven't had a finish in a while. And when you haven't had a finish in a while, you start getting a little cranky about it. I don't know about you, but I do. Which is when, you know, you step, step aside and you bang out a hat or, or something. Like, you know, if you're knitting, if you're a knitter, that's what you do. You bang out something small like that. Like, oh, I haven't had a finish in ages. I'm just going to whip up a baby hat and super bulky. <laughs> Done. You can't do that with uh, stitching quite so much. But you can pick projects that are going to be a little easier. And I had started this ages ago, I think right when I started, um, when I originally started floss tubing, I think it, it was on like one of my really, really early floss tubes. And then I put it away and I didn't look at it for like ever. And it's the Halloween Arches by Bent Creek, which I got off stash on load. Um, um, um. I'm doing it on, I believe this is 28 count. Carolina linen. It's the stuff that's the stuff you can buy at Michaels. And it's the smaller piece. So maybe it's the one you can buy at Joann's. 
but it's not MGC. It's the one you buy in the two in the in the square box in the plastic box. Either way, I've decided I whatever this is, I'm not a fan. the The holes are too big, and they're too uneven. It really just it bugs the Jiminy out of me. It's not as nice as the 35 count, but this was the first time I was on linen, so I feel pretty good. Previously, before picking this up again, there's my David Bowie needle minder. So it was in January because I remember getting that when David Bowie passed away. So, yeah. Previous to me picking it back up again, I had the ghost and the pumpkin done. So I finished the arch around the, the, arch around the ghost, almost, the other arch, and I started the house. I'm going to do this way, and then I'm going to do this way. And it's a lot of arches. <laughs> Let me state the obvious. This, called Halloween Arches, is a lot of arches. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just too easy for me right like right now to be like, Woo, yeah, this is awesome. But I, I love Halloween stuff, and yet I'm just so meh. It's a good knit, though. I've er, knit. It's a good stitch though. It's kind of like what I need in terms of just something a little different that's gonna be pretty quick because I've, it's ba basically, I worked on this for two days and I finished an arch. I finished the one arch, got most of the second arch done and the house. And the only reason I started in on the house is because I was bored of arches. So I'll finish the arch, I'll move it over, I'll do the next arch. Maybe doing the bat will make me like, woo, you know, because I love bats. So maybe the bat will give me the, the zhuzh I need. Having said that, it's going to be adorable when it's done. I'll probably just, um, I don't know. It calls for three star buttons from Jabco. And I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to find some star buttons that I have because I have a giant button bin. Because again, I'm a knitter. And I have buttons coming out of my ears. Not really. That would be weird. But I do have a lot of buttons. A lot of buttons. Metric ton of buttons. So I should be able to find three star buttons whether or not they look alike. One moment. I'm always worried I'm gonna lose sound when something in the background pops up, so I have to restart, and if you were wondering what that was about. So those are the two things I worked on this week. Aside from the fact that, if you recall, I have that giant one and a half yard piece of fabric. Well, like, it, it, it looks like an even weave. It does not look like a linen. It might be linen, but it really looks like an even weave. And I'm thinking, judging by my counting, and I may have counted improperly, so don't quote me on this, but I think it's a 25 count. Which would make a lot of sense for someone to have a one and a half yard piece of 25 count, because that's really popular for Hades. And, they, like, I mean, you would get a piece that big to, to do two different large or extra large Hades. I decided that I am going to, probably this weekend, cut and then I'm going to fold, I'm going to double fold and seam because I don't have a serger and I don't feel like zigzagging so I'm just going to fold and seam because it's easiest for me. A, a piece and I'm going to start my Pelly can. Sue, my friend Sue from Minnesota, monkey, you know, you know I'm talking to you. I'm starting it. I'm going to start the Pelly can. And then I think the rest of it I'm going to save for Death by Cross Stitch. And I'm going to do it one over one. And I think the Pelly can is going to be at a 3799. One over one on approximately 25 count, 3799 is going to be the bomb diggity. Just saying. So that might get started before next week, depending. Um, I'm prepping for my husband to be leaving. Uh, as any military spouse knows, when that happens, like, everything kind of goes sideways. So we've got stuff to get done before he leaves. We've got... We just don't want to be separated for any matter of time until he's gone, so... Yeah, and then he'll be gone for a while. And I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be rough for me. But I I'm hoping I 
Okay, I'm hoping I can make it through better than last time. Having said that, uh, really plotting the pelican. I'm feeling the pelican. I want to do the pelican. I, I keep seeing Emily's Mermaid's Folly, which is a solid, and it's on a similar color to what I'm going to be using, and I'm just, I need to start the pelican. So, that's the plan. And um, I think that's everything I have to talk about. I will see everybody next week. Bye.